Give me a break, give me a break, break me off a piece of that Kid Cat bar. Yeah, let's get into this. Alright guys, so I was telling you in my last video how to get that uh, Google Experience launcher on your device that was pulled from the Nexus 5 and uh, it just got released recently for and has KitKat on it. So Google has developed their own launcher and I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to install it. So I'm going to give you a couple prerequisites for this, whether you're on your 2013 Nexus 7 or your uh, 2012, whichever, I've sh I was working on both of these devices. Basically, this is for Nexus, but you don't you don't have to. You can install this. You can use the same process to install this on any device that has um, Android 4.3, which is Jelly Bean, on it or above. It should function. Um, I'm just going to show you what I've got on right here. This is running basically stock tablet here, and it's stock 4.3. Um, like I said, I did update my other device to AOSP 4.4 KitKat, and I have a video on that. You guys can check it out, too. Uh, on my YouTube channel but let's go ahead and that's the prerequisite for it just be on that system you can be running a ROM you could be running um, whatever as long as you're on 4.3 or above KitKat or whatever it is you could install this launcher and these applications so here's what I've got right here under stock basically all you gotta do you don't have to have root access you don't have to have any of that stuff if you want to get this this launcher installed you just gotta get three sorry three files and basically they're right here. I've downloaded the zip, which is right here. I've extracted them in my file explorer. And you come out with these three files. So all we've got to do is go ahead and click on each one. And there are Google applications. And then just go ahead and tell them to install. This may come up and say there's a warning because these are not from the Google Play Store. And you have to enable um, unknown sources in your settings. If that comes up, don't worry about it. Go ahead and do it. Uh, other recommendation, if you do have root access and you have custom recovery and all that good stuff, go ahead and make a bat an Android backup in case you need to go back and something goes wrong in installing these. It shouldn't though. These are all Google applications. You should be fine. So then hit done. Do the same with this one. Install. Okay, now that they're all installed, you can go ahead and just hit your home button. And now it gives you a new option. This was your stock launcher. You can now use this Google, it says Google Search Launcher is what it says. And then if you want to keep it and use it all a lot, um, you can hit always or you can hit just once. I'm going to hit always right now just so when I hit the home button it doesn't keep asking me for preferences. So here's your launcher right here. You can see it actually, it has some very interesting information here in uh, Google Now. And Google Now is always there on the side when you scroll to that direction. And it actually looks like it's kind of imported all of my settings. Now you can see right now I only have one screen. Um, you can add more screens. You just drag something over and so on and you'll add more screens to it. Um, one thing I want to point out is that here you don't have widgets. It's just apps. So if you have enough apps you'll have extra screens of apps. But otherwise you just have your apps in here in the app drawer. No widgets. And I think that seems kind of funny, but this is how widgets work. If you just hold on your screen, you'll have this little button right here for widgets. And now you can go ahead and pick something you want to install for a widget. So let's just do this one and install it right there and create. So there you go. There is that widget. And that's how you add widgets in here. Also, if you want to do wallpapers, you come down here. Same thing do wallpapers. I'm going to pick, um, uh, let's see here, I'll pick this one because this is for the new Nexus 5. Whoops, try that again. Wallpapers, this one, and then you got to apply it right up here. And there it is. So you can see that this launcher works a little bit differently. Um, let me explain to you the key of this launcher. The whole point of this launcher is to really involve you really well in the Google experience. And one of the cool things about it is that it is hands-free. And what I mean by hands-free is that you can just talk to it like the Moto X, for example. So if I want to say something like this, see, no touching. Okay, Google, what's the weather today? No hands. 
Today's forecast for Rich So it did actually give you an error there, which is a little interesting. I do have this installed on my KitKat device, the other Nexus 7 I have, the old version. And it doesn't give me that, but it did give it to me here. I'm not really sure why that does that. Um, I'll report it just to, just to give Google some information on it. Try, let's try a, another one. Okay, Google. What's 10 times 10? The answer is 100. 100. So there you go. You can see it's actually functioning. I don't know why it keeps giving me this uh, search has stopped, unfortunately. Um, maybe because I need to disable something else in uh, Android 4.3. But anyway, it does work. It does function. Something else I want to show you guys that's kind of cool is if you hit this right here, it just automatically kind of opens that up. Same with over here. Opens it up. Or this way. You can get to Google now. Or you can get to Google now that way, which just slides open the page just like you guys have seen before. Um, so pretty, pretty neat, uh, neat little launcher. This is basically giving you the Google experience and how Google wants you to use your devices. Um, which, you know, if you like that stuff, it's good. Um, one of the things I would like to point out to you guys, and something that I've really seen going real strong with Jelly Bean and now KitKat as well, is Google's trying to integrate all of their applications through the App Store, which is really, really neat that they're doing that because now you're not wor wor waiting on carriers to update your device for you. Um, Google is just updating the really key apps. So you may be on an older version of Android, but you're getting most of the cool features through the applications. Like the keyboard, Android keyboard, Google keyboard, or Hangouts has now been updated to now do SMS messaging through Hangouts. So you don't have to use your, your normal messaging app that comes with your device. Uh, Google Plus is getting some cool updates. Google Voice, all this stuff is just really, really neat and easy to use and makes these Android devices really fun. So there you go guys, that is my install here on this launcher on your device. Like I say, if you have AOSP, it obviously doesn't do that crashing, which I'm not sure what that is, and I'm gonna look into it some more myself. If I come up with a fix for it, I'll, I'm sure I'll let you guys know in here. But you can install it just normally on KitKat, and it does function without that issue. Oh, I think I got a fix for us here on the uh, Nexus 7 here. Want to get this to work? Let's try it again. Okay, Google. What's the weather like today? Today's forecast for Park Forest is 14 degrees with showers. So there you go. It's working. You know what my fix was? Yeah. Forget this. Why am I keeping it on Android 4.3 when I can get AOSP on it? So I went ahead and uh, just installed AOSP ROM 4.4 KitKat on my device. Um, I said, why even keep messing with trying to figure that out when you can just install the updated ROM and get KitKat on your device and now the launcher is fully functioning correctly. There you go, guys. That's it. That's my review of the Google Experience Launcher. I uh, hope you guys like it. As always, hey, check me out at rootjunkie.com, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, all that stuff. Links everywhere. Hope you guys like this video. As always, Root Junkie out.